Hello and welcome to Three Questions with my friend Carrington with us from, from Prospect Street Studio. Good morning, Carrington. Welcome to the show. Morning, Kevin. Thanks for having me on again. So, Carrington, um, I was thinking about you in class this week because we're doing presentations. As part of the students' analysis of companies, they had to look at their social media, their website, and their messaging. The reoccurring comment I got was, Kev, their pictures are lousy. They're blurry. You know, like once it was like, Kev, I've eaten there. Their food is amazing looking. Not so much of the pictures. So I get it while trying to save money and pulling out our phones. But in this example, I could clearly see that my students would not try that business because of the image they got from their images. You must see this all the time. Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely a reoccurring problem. But one of the big things that happens is everyone is just going at light speed, right? So you need photos. All right, I'm going to pick up this phone, take a few quick photos. Yep. And whatever happens, happens is kind of how a lot of things are happening, right? But then you're not realizing, oh, wait, maybe half the food is cut off or the composition isn't right. It doesn't fit when you put it on the website layout. And then things start to look all distorted and people are like, well, this looks crappy. Yep. Even though like, oh, the food might be like a five-star restaurant, you might not end up going there. What's funny, it just made me laugh because I did that yesterday. I saw a picture of a hamburger and some French fries, yep. but there's only four French fries on the plate. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. I'm like, like I, where'd the rest go? Did I, like you eat them while you're taking the photos? <laughs> but yeah, you know, but it was, but you said it was just the way the picture was taken. It almost felt like you know someone was bringing it out of the 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 back room to, to serve it and they took a quick picture because you could tell the plate wasn't lined up right but right like it turned me off Carrington I was like yeah I want more than four of them. <laughs> they look good but only four of them but again like right. you said we're all trying to work at the speed of, of light and then we're like ah oh, you know we messed that up and stuff so mm -hmm. we have to step back and have somebody look at those pictures and say what's the image you get right yeah, one of the things I'm always telling businesses and brands is to really slow down. But in a way of like, think back to those famous painters that we all learned about in high school that no one wanted to listen to, right? Yeah. Like Picasso or Rembrandt or Da Vinci, you name it, you know who I'm talking about, yeah. right? Why do those paintings stand the test of time? Mm -hmm. Yes, there's talent and there's all these things that go into it. But time is a huge part of it. You actually had to think before you put the paint on a canvas, what's my composition? Where is this going? Who's going to be looking at it? How is the eye going to go through the frame? Yep. Right? Like, what is the purpose of this paint going on this canvas? That's nice. Right? So I tell people, I'm like, if you're going to be DIYing in your photography, don't just slow down, but try and think like you're Da Vinci. Try and think like you're Rembrandt and be like, why am I doing this? Yep. Like, we go to museums to see these paintings for a reason, because they work. Yep. They've got the composition, they have the color, they have the meaning, they've got the flow, everything about it. So if you just slow down a little bit before you hit that button, because it is so easy to yeah. hit that button, yeah. so yeah. easy, yeah. just stop and just think about it. Yeah. Why am I creating it like this? what is the end purpose? Like, am I trying to educate hmm. my viewer? Am I trying to inspire them? Yeah. Am I trying to make them hungry? <laughs> right? Like, why are you making the photo? Yep. And then think about, okay, if I know why I'm making the photo, how do I actually convey that? So like in a DIY world, I always tell people, I'm like, think like a painter and yep. see how that goes for you. I just love that analogy because again, we're just so focused on content having as uh -huh. much of it as we can without stepping back and saying, but is it good content? If I get it and I see it, does it make me want to, you know, do business with you? Right. And often, like you said, in the rush to like, Hey, you know, here's today's special. So I, you know, run and grab my phone as you're taking it out and I take a picture of it. It just doesn't do it justice. But I love to step back and treat it like a painter because back then there was no do-overs. If you yep. get halfway through and you're like, ah, geez, you know, yep. 
rip down, start over and stuff. And that's where today with social media, every day is a do-over, but everything we built is representing our brand and maybe turning us off. Because I guess in conclusion, you know, we think we're saving money by not hiring a professional photographer. Mm -hmm. But after listening to my students, I'm like, can't agree with that anymore. Yep. It's costing us money because we didn't yep. do it because we lost customers. So exactly. if you want to learn more about proper photography, what's the best way to get, reach out to you? You can either go to my website at prospectstreetstudio.com or email me at info at Prospect Street Studio. So that's, an, I that's a studio it. with no S on the end. Everyone always adds an S. <laughs> <laughs> It's true, though. I guess it's tempting. Carrington, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to call into the show. And as always, thanks for being my friend. Thank you.